All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're checking out Stormbeats. It's a Discord music bot, and this one is new, and it also supports YouTube and also SoundCloud. So you can search for songs on either of those platforms, and you can also play music directly from them if you have a link to a song or a video. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and click the big blue add to discord button and that's going to walk us through your typical discord bot invite screen. You have to be logged in for this to work. So if it prompts you to log into your discord account, don't freak out. And then I'm just going to send it to my Chupacabra test server. I'm going to give it all of the permissions that it wants. And then it's also going to offer me the chance to join their development server, but I'm not going to do this right now. So once you do that, it should pop you back into your Discord window like it just did for me, and it should show up on your server. So here you can see it's in the sidebar, and earlier, before I started testing it, it showed up inside the main channel here. It says Storm Beats just showed up. And then from here, you can start playing music. But the first thing you gotta do is these music bots typically don't function, at least not completely, until you pop into one of your music channels or voice channels for you to listen to. Otherwise, wouldn't be much point. You couldn't hear it if you were just typing in chat. So from here, they have a lovely window that walks you through all of the different commands. You can get there from the main page. It just says view commands. And here you can see a list of all of the different things that you can do with the bot, which is mostly just looking for music, playing music, adding more music to the queue, skipping, removing stuff from the queue, and so on and so forth. You can also do things like ping the bot, tweak some of the settings, which is actually really handy. They have some really nice in-depth settings, but we'll get to that in a moment. So to start out with, I'm going to search for some music on YouTube. I'm going to search for some NCS, no copyright sounds, and then it's going to give me a track selection pull down menu. Now from here, this is actually how you preview all of the different music that it found when I did search for NCS and it searches for 10 items at a time. I will say I'm not a big fan of not just showing all the tracks before you have to click on this button to select, but the select option is kind of nice. So from here, I'm just going to grab, oh, I don't know what, what looks good. We'll just grab this one and then it'll automatically start playing music in the same channel that we are in and then from there i can also search soundcloud so i can do and the i think this is like a a, a semicolon that is the uh prefix you can see the prefix on the command list as well in front of every last one of the commands and you can also change that if you want uh, from here, we type in SC search, which stands for SoundCloud search. And I'm also going to look for some SoundCloud uh, no copyright sounds music. And we'll just grab this one. And then if we type in Q, we can see that there's actually two different songs in the Q right now. The one that's currently playing and also the one called Cartoon that's currently on SoundCloud. So I actually like this bot. Some music bots that support more than one platform at the same time have problems going from playing a YouTube video in sound form to playing something on SoundCloud or Spotify, but this bot handles it pretty well. And then if we want to, we can go ahead and click disconnect and it'll disconnect the bot from playing in the same channel as us when we want it to stop. So pretty standard music controls. You can add stuff to the queue, remove stuff from the queue, all of that. And then you can just tell the bot to stop. From there, the other thing I really liked was the settings panel for the bot. So this allows you to do things that are always really important. Like you can set a DJ role and a DJ role is basically just setting up an admin for the music bot. In fact, I have a DJ role right now. So let's set that up. Settings. DJ role, and then how does that work? It wants me to at the role, it looks like. So let's just do settings, DJ role, 
and then we'll just say DJ, because I just keep my DJ role pretty simplistic. The person that has DJ as their role is the DJ. So now we have a DJ, and the other thing that you can do is you can also set a music role. Now, why is this important? Well, one of the things that's nice is if you want people to request the ability to add music to the, to the music bot, because it's mostly used by a select set of people, you can give people permission by setting a music role so that they have the ability to add music and otherwise the bot will ignore them. That's really nice if you have a really big public server and you don't want people to jump into the channel randomly, add a bunch of trolly music, and then leave, because that's annoying. You can also limit the channel to a specific channel that the bot listens to for commands, which again, very nice. That's the type of admin controls that I love. You can set it so that only the DJ can control the bot, DJ only playlists, so on and so forth. And these are actually pretty robust different settings. So what else can we do on here? We can remove duplicates. That's actually another feature that they've got inside of here. You can limit the number of duplicate songs so that people can't like play Surfin' Bird 50 times in a row or Rock Lobster. And then you can also do things like default the volume, announce the songs, yada yada, all that good stuff. And then if you do want to pay for this particular bot because you find that you like it, you can also go in here and there's like four different tiers of premium that you can get that all offer you different types of bonuses. Like one of the things that a lot of bots do, including this one, is they have a bunch of filters. Like I believe I saw Nightcore in here. Yeah, here's Nightcore. So that kind of speeds up the song a little bit and makes it high pitch if you like that sort of thing. There's also the helicopter command. Makes it sound like it's going through a helicopter fan. You can add treble and bass and static and ooh, vaporwave. All right, you got my attention now. You got vaporwave sound effects. So all the basic stuff that you would expect and enjoy from a Discord music bot, Storm Beats can basically do along with a few administrative things like being able to ping the bot to tell what the current latency of the bot is. And just for shits and giggles, let's just search for another song. We will play this one. Now, the last thing I'm gonna share with you is actually a command that a lot of people have wanted from a number of other bots that I don't see very often, and that is the fix command. So what does the fix command do? Well, a lot of these bots are running off of just Discord's dynamic cloud servers, but sometimes that means that your bot sounds choppy and laggy and bad, especially if you're listening to it during peak hours, which is sometime in America between 3 p.m. in the afternoon till about like 11 at night. So that's one that like the heaviest load tends to be on these bots. So if you're having that problem, you can type in the fix command and you can do one of two things. You can fix the voice channel that you're in, which helps to replace some of the lag and change the region that the player is in. And then if for whatever reason the player is like not responding, it's not listening to you very well, you can have it fix the player, which will disconnect and reset the music player completely to see if that helps to fix the lag. So in this case, I can type in fix and then I can type in voice. Ah, so to, f to give it this permission to edit the server, I need to give it server managing permissions which I can easily do. Let me just find Storm Beats. And then I can save that. Boom, ding, dang, done. Then I can type in fix. And then voice. So what it's going to do then is it's probably going to go into the channel settings if I had to guess and then go to the region override right here. And instead of being set to automatic, which it usually is, it changed it to US East to try and improve its connection and reduce the amount of lag. So let's ping it again and see if the numbers, yeah, they are slightly better than they were before. Cause when we pinged it earlier, it said that its latency was 167 and now it's 116, which isn't a bad latency, especially if it's just playing music. 
So yeah, that in a nutshell is Storm Beats. It does all the things that you would expect of a Discord music bot. It plays from YouTube, it plays from SoundCloud, and it has a lot of really detailed server settings to let you control what channel it plays in, what channel it listens to for commands, who can use the bot, and prevents things like duplicates and all of this different stuff you have right here. So if you're interested in this, I will put a link to this website in the video description below. It starts out at the low, low price of absolutely free, and if you decide that you want to use things like some of the different filters or any of this other stuff that you get from having premium, you can pay for like three, four dollars a month and get a lot of cool features. So completely up to you. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.